For example, you have a pattern, you find it in the internet and you want to draw your pattern based on this image. For example, background image and make it to go into the 2D. If you want to add a background, for example, this image, as you can see, we have an image that uh, is an uh, pa image pattern that this is just a, a PNG, J PNG or JPEG image. Uh, I want to insert it as a pattern, as a background image and draw uh, over that to create our pattern. For doing that, you have to go into the 2D view, right click, and here is the add a background image. If you click on it, the background image is here and you can introduce your file here. Click on this and find your PC. And that's it. This is our file. As uh, this window is open, you can change the position of this image. For example, we want to pick it here. You can scale it. For example, it's 100%. It means exactly the size of the image comes. The size are not very accurate and exact the size, but you have to try to, for example, draw a line. If our uh, pattern has a measurement, you can uh, compare it with that, with that line uh, and make it accurate. Here you can rotate it, here you can change opacity and hit OK. And now, as you can see, you cannot it's locked and you cannot change it and you can come and draw for example a polygon and begin with it okay and draw your pattern and continue now after that you can come back and uh, edit it okay in this situation you can uh insert the image back or if you want to change the size or anything you have to right click again and uh, in this time you have to click format to the background and here you can select it and if you want you can uh delete it okay uh, you cannot delete it so you have to click on a reset Format to the background, turn the reset, and you can close it. Another way that you can insert a pattern, but it's not good, you can uh, draw a draw a rectangle here, and it's a fabric. You can lock it, you can freeze it anytime you want, anything that you want. And in the texture here, you can insert your pattern. Okay, here I insert my pattern. And here you can make it not repeat here, okay? Um, you can change it on a not repeat in a unified mode. And here you can go use the edit texture, edit texture and click on it. Here you can rotate it if you want. Oh, sorry, what happened? You can interesting thing happen if it is in a, a unified mode. As you can see, if you select your pattern, uh, your fabric here, it does not. Uh, you cannot edit it. You have to in a repeated mode. And then go to edit texture, select it, and here you can scale it. The bigger one that include all objects. And cut the pattern here. And it's not good because if you go to the 3D, we have real uh, 3D pattern here. You can freeze it, but in this mode, it's not. It, it, right click and format to the background is the best way to insert your texture for um, creating a pattern from another image. 
Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.